All right, hey there, Sam here with you. It's March 12th, we're kind of middle of the day here. I'm gonna finish up with the second pair uh, that was requested through the polling we do amongst our members every day. So I've got, this is a three day chart, three day going all the way back to 2006. Now, I do this for a couple of reasons here. Right? So I know people wanna know what, what about the hard right edge. I, we'll get there in a sec here. I just, I do this for a couple of reasons. I want you to understand, there's real advantage to coming out to these longer term charts. One, one, you bypass all the chop noise that is so pervasive and the smaller time frames on FX. There's just hypersensitive to data. When you pull way back out here, da well, daily is a minimum, right? If you're going to trade Forex, you, get, you start on the daily. But sometimes you can't quite see it all on the daily. So you got to push out. Now, you, of course, you can go to the weekly. I like the three day. Sometimes the week will compress it so much. I want a little bit more. So I, I like the three day here. And in this case, I can damn near do the entire analysis here off the three-day chart. But I also want to <laughs> just demonstrate to you how incredibly technical we are in here at every time frame. I, I say it all the time, but I, I just feel like I have to, I have to prove it to you just, just to demonstrate whether we're looking at a one-minute chart or a three-day chart, one week, one month, one hour, it does not matter. They all trade the same way. The same algorithms are in here playing just on a different time frame. So when I look here at this, there are so many fib, pardon me, there are so many algo fib plays in here, it would take me an hour to go through them all. So I'm just going to give you the majors and a few things to, to just to, to show you here that you always want to check. So what I think we have here, based on the data that we have, I think we just have a, a giant, well, we'd have a, a WXY here. So we've got an ABC, an ABC into the X, and then this, I think, is more likely... See, it's, it's tempting to think, oh, one, two, three, A, B, C into the four, and then we'd have a five. Could be. Yeah, it could be. I think the symmetry is, is so off that I think this is much more likely we've just done an A, B, C into this Y to give us, into this low to give us the Y here. So you look here and you say, well, of course, <clears throat> that looks like it would be something significant. That looks like it's high probability it would be a technical pivot. So here, this is something to, to take note of. So when you see something like this, I, I talk about this a lot. So I've got a dominant swing to a dominant swing. Well, look, we're, we're getting slight breaks here. Well, this on a three-day chart, that's bigger than, you, than it might look. That's a pretty good break of the 65. So the algorithm that started selling here was playing defense here gets stopped out. But the thing still goes. But if you're trading this, and I mean, those are, there's 618 to the tick. That move there, Jesus, that's 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 five full points in the euro, right? So these are these are it looks small, but if you were down on a 60 minute, that would look like an enormous move. But you look here, so if you're trading this and you see a break and it's ever so slight. Well, I I always tell you that this is a pattern that they like. You want to go back one pivot just to check that to see that they're not using that because it would, sure there would be an algorithm here that would be stopped out but there's they're going to you know that god knows how many algorithms are in here but this pat <laughs> this is a pattern that they like so in this case you're, you're going back a pivot so you get kind of this abc pattern here now i know there's a lower low here but the this alternating where you have to go back a swing i mean you could go all the way back to the to the pivot here now look at that Right, so you have this. You have a combination. Do you see what I just did here? So I'm looking. I'm using the absolute high. We get a, a couple of tick front run on the on the 50. If I use the next lower pivot here, I've got perfect golden zone. So you might do, you might have thought of it like this. So if I was here looking for that, I'm just looking for confluence. Now you could, right? Of course, yeah. You've got this this lower low here. You've got that. But when I see that pivot, I'm going to check everywhere. What 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 could be going on here? Well, that, that also looks technical. So I get, I get this perfect confluence here. So I have the 50 of the all the way halfway back. And then the 618 here, right? Albeit it's, it's, we do have a, this is a lower low. I understand that, right? So I, I'm not trying to just cherry pick this for hindsight. I'm trying to make a point here. So you have this nice confluence here. And then also don't, don't go, oh, well, shit. Okay, bulls, bulls have it, right? Well, it must have, got to check back one, got to check all the way back. You got to check them all. Because it very easily could be that we've just got an algorithm for whatever reason. Well, then you look here. Well, that sure looks technical. Uh, come here. So we, we'd pull here and say, okay, well, remember, there's an algorithm on every side. So this algorithm down here that's, that's a buyer, here's the 50, the 618. 
that's pushing their up there after that target. So they don't quite get, well, they just get denied the target. <clears throat> so sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. But this play here, well, you know, that's a, that's a monster move. That's from one, uh, let's call it 127.70 up to 139.80. These are monster moves here at this level. Monster. You catch something like that, make your year. Right, so <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm also just trying to make the point here of how technical we are here, even up here on the three day. You say, oh, that's all great on the 15 minute and the 60 minute. Oh, that's all fine. What about the three days? It can't be there on the three day, can it? Well, we got a lot of pivots here, so of course you know I'm going to start looking for median lines. Well, <clears throat> same kind of thing. So you might look here and think, hmm, looking right here, huh? Well, it looks a little, a little sloppy down here. Well, what's the thought? Go back one. Oops, let me go down here. There it is. Let me get this right on there. Now yeah, a little, little sloppy. There we go. Am I on it? Yeah, here we go. So this algorithm here, so we, what do we have? I know that's getting hard to see. Let me, let me clear this up a little bit. Let me get that one off. Let's get this one off. Okay, so there we go. So we've got, let me be right on here so I'm not, not too far off. Change time frames here. You've got to tighten these up. So let me get right on that pivot. Bear with me here. <clears throat> Make the point. Okay, so here's the perfect tag. So this is, so we get sort of an odd shape, but it's there. A, B, C, they like this pattern here. So we get a golden corner on the three day. Now you get a golden corner on a three day. That, that's, that's a must take. So here's the 80% realized, All right? That's 80%. I say it every video where I get the opportunity. These, this is the best odds in trading. If that pivot holds, Right, from this, right, here's a third pivot of the of the median lines, 80% probability of making the median lines. Now you're up here, you're thinking, well, there's no way. And, and you, you look at that and you think, oh, well, here's the little stutter here, you know, here's the profit taking on the algo, but it keeps going. Why does it keep going? Could it be that it's the tag the algo, or pardon me, to tag the median line algorithm there tied to that? We never know, right? We just try and identify the footprint. And then here, just, you know, that, that, that that that's that's such an enormous winner. Yet it's so rudimentary. Swing low, golden zone. Oh, put some median lines on it. Eighty percent probability of making the median line. It makes it to the tick on a three-day chart. You know, I mean, I can show them to you over and over again. You know, when you, when you see something like that, that's you you just you got to pull the trigger, and you can be very low risk. Jesus, what is that? Let, let, let's just do it up. All right, so if you're here, front run on the 618, stop on the other side of the 65, right? Down to the median line. What did we get there? 18 to 1. Three-day chart, right? So how, when was the last time you looked at a three-day chart? All right, if you're an FX trader, you got to check them, right? It's just so much easier. You get, oh, oh, look at that junk. Look at that, right? You can't, you can't trade that shit. That's, it's untradeable. Come out all the way out, right? Daily as a minimum. I come all the way out here and all of a sudden the wave structure and the pivots really start to clear up. Now you had to wait for that. Now that, that's um, April of 14. Doesn't, it doesn't get to the median line until March of 15. It's damn near a, sing, a full year. That's 11 months you're in that trade. But the whole time, you know, like, oh, okay. Well, should, oh, should I take some profit here? Oh, maybe, oh, there's a little retrace. You've got a target. You got a golden, golden corner, you know that's 80% that it's going to get there. So you might have been thinking, oh, shit, well, we made the first target. We got a little, oh, I see a little volatility there. It looks like, the, oh, it must be over. All right, what'd you leave on, what'd you leave on the board there? 132 to one, another 25 euro points, full euro points by going, oh, so maybe you take a partial here. You leave a little bit on to, to try and get to that target because you, I mean, if it gets this far, wouldn't you want to press a little bit and see if you could get the target? Well, there you go. There you get it. So just trying to make some a points here of the advantages of coming coming out to these longer time frames. So yeah, with all that said, I mean, there's so many shit. I mean, I, th this was perfect. Right, not, not to dwell on the past, but just just see, you can see how easy these are, all right? So here's 50 right to target. They're just they're just all over the place here, and even on these bigger time frames. <clears throat> all right, so let's get over here. Well, of course, for, so we sit here and we look at this and we go, okay, um, well, why does it stop there? 
First question is always, well, so you, just an easy thing you can do is just put a line on it and, and start looking left. Okay, well, why, why do we stop there? Is this prior, prior support a, acting as the resistance, prior support here? Yeah, we get through here. We get a little wiki through. But, you know, this is a reasonable spot to be thinking, hmm, that's likely, likely we're going to run into some resistance here. This was the demand. It beca now becomes the resistance. So then you look and you think, okay. You know, that, that distance here looks like something I ought to check. Well, here's the last pivot of the B before we head down. I'm going to go all the way to that pivot low. What do we do? Right to the golden zone. Guys, it's the same. So look at this. It's the same thing over and over again. Golden zone, this one, two and through. It goes down to tag the median line. We retrace. Where do we go? Golden zone. And <laughs> now, guys, I just, I just shown it so many times. At some point here, you're going to, you got to dial in on this. Okay, so what, what, do we, what do we do here? I'm on the three-day chart. So we've gone golden. So do you see it? We're just stuck between two golden zones. Right. So the retrace goes down, golden zone. Right. And you, you know, you can't, you know, at some point you got to go, man, there's no way. Right. What, what could be that precise? Right. So we know it's an algorithm, right? That, that's the only software can be that precise about this. It's, but we, we can track them. Right. We, you, you never know who's behind it. You don't, it, it could be hundreds of different players w w with the same algorithm. All we can do is track its footprint so we know what it did last. So you look here and you go, well, shit, man, if you got all that, why do you need the Elliott Wave? That's a pain in the ass to have to learn all of that. Okay, but I'm, I hear that. I understand that. Yeah, it is. It is you got, there's a lot of memorization. You got to study it. Right? Are, are you in here just to have fun, you know, get a little action, or do you want to really master this? Well, if if we think we've got a we've got a WXY going into a low here, and then you've got just got a swing here. Well, okay, we could sell it here, buy it here. Yeah, you could do that. Where the Elliott wave helps you is it gives you probability zones. So I know I've got a completed impulse coming off that low. Granted, I'm still on the three day, nice, clear, clean uh, impulse coming off of that low. Well, that tells me that the probability here is that if we're, we're likely to come down, right? Completed impulse, we're looking for a reaction between or pivot between the 50 and the 618. It's right where we go. Now, is that the low? Well, you can't say for sure because an algorithm on one side always fails, right? Otherwise, we just go sideways indefinitely. So one of these is going to fail. Where the Elliott wave helps is, is create the probability zones. So if this, because I've got a clean impulse here, the probability is higher since I've come down to this level here that I've got the makings of a one, two. I've got a completed WXY down here. So coming off of that with a clean impulsive structure, a one, two seems the most probable. So of course, of course, we have the, we have the golden corner setting up on the other side. So it's just a big fib fight. So we get this. Okay, but that is fighting this. It's just a fib fight, right? And then wh which set of, wh who's gonna get target, right? These guys here that sold it here have this as a target. These guys that bought it here, well, they're target, you can't even see it. Let's see, I have to get this, this one off so you can see it. So let me get it up on there. So this to, to this, their target, from this golden zone is right here. Now, who's going to win? Well, think about it. From, so again, here's where the Elliott can be helpful. If if we, if this is with the, the clear impulse here, the higher probability is that we've got one, two, we're going up for three. Well, that wouldn't be a clean three. That could be just the one. That's not far enough. If we're going to get a full third, you're looking for the, well, we know the negative 100. That's your shorthand. So if this is going to go as one, two, three, four, five. Now let's get that something you can see here. Let's go, we'll go intermediate so you can see it. If we're gonna go one, two and get the full, and get a, a true third here, a one, six, one, eight, well then then you can lean into that count, right? So this, this could well just be, if we get, so we've got a golden corner on both sides. Do you see that? We have a golden corner on both sides. So if we go here, that could be just the one, two, of the three, four, five that gets us up there. So you look at that and you say, hey, um, Sam, you're telling me that there's 80% probability of getting from either of these golden corners. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is. So this golden corner has 80% probability of making this median line. We don't know when, but here, if we're looking down, 80% probability of making that, that pivot, pardon me, of making that median line. We've got 80% on the other side. Well, how can two 80%, right? They can't both be right. So one of these is going to break. Again, back to that's where the Elliott wave helps you. If this starts to break down here, and we're gonna go get the median line here, well, we know this count is off. Can't be one, two, especially if we, well, certainly if we take out this pivot. So the count is wrong. So maybe we've got, you know, maybe we'll end up with a larger ABC. Maybe this just becomes an A, we get a deep B down here to tag this and we go up for the C. Certainly reasonable, we get a deeper B down here. Well, then the subdivision is gonna play into that to some extent as well. If this holds and we start to move higher, well, we've gotta break this golden zone because there's gonna be an algorithm there defending that, looking to get this target. One of these 80% is gonna fail. No way around it, right? So that, again, you come back to, well, shit, man, why do I have to learn all that Elliott Wave stuff? Can't I just use the golden corners and the fib swings? It's so much easier. Yeah, if, if you're looking, if you expect this to be easy and you're looking for, oh, man, I don't want to learn all that stuff. That's your prerogative, right? You know, you're competing against the sharpest minds, the deepest pockets. This is, you know, there are some people that will tell you, not to be a cynic, but there's some people that will tell you that the smartest people on the planet, well, let me, let me rephrase. Some of the smartest people on the planet are in here writing al algorithms trying to tell you where the euro dollar is going to be a month from now, a year from now, five years from now. You, you, so to say, ah, I don't want to put the work in. I don't want to learn this Elliot shit. It's boring. It's boring. I don't know. It's kind of, you know, it's all subjective. Well, you know, to take that approach at at your own risk. I would tell you there's one way or another, you got to organize the data here. That's all we're doing. It's, it's not as much about predicting the path, pardon me, predicting the future as it is organizing the past to, path, pardon me, the path, <clears throat> I'm going to get it out, the past to create probability zones for the future, knowing that you're ver very likely to be wrong more than you're right. But you gotta, you gotta identify it. You gotta organize. Otherwise, it's just absolute chaos. Well, it's up, it's down. It's how, how you, you know, how, where's the probability zone? What's most likely to happen next? That's where the Elliot plays into it. So I would encourage you to not, not take the lazy way out. Put a little effort in because it, I promise you, it'll be time and effort well spent. All right, I didn't mean to get on a rant here, but so th this is so we're still on the three day chart here. So where is there a trade here? Well, the current trade is the golden corner off of this pivot, knowing that you know, we, we don't know that we're going to get through this, this golden zone here. Now, this has been defended once already, more probable to break on the second try. So if this golden corner is going to be realized, well, then we know that the count is solid and likely this 1-2 is good. We realize the 80% here. That's likely the 1-2. Again, I, I don't know where that's going, but that's just a reasonable target here. I've got an algo that I know, I know software is behind that. I don't have to wonder about it. I've got a straight shot here. Now, do I get it there? Do I, I don't know where we get it. I've just got a reasonable trajectory here, but this is going to take... Some, some legs. Again, we're on a three-day chart. Now, we have data coming out here that could start that process, but hitting this, that when is that? That's, that's the end of the year. That's, that's uh, uh, end of December. Right? Can you stay in something that long? It's not easy to do, but what's the reward? Right? So we've, we've got a golden corner sitting here. Right? You, you're, you're, not, you're not too far from it. There's your target. Stop under the 65. Give it a little little cushion for some for some volatility, particularly since we've got some data coming out. So you get position there. There's on a three day. That's 6.5 to one. Now you can take that in a in a micro in a mini. You get that kind of a move here up to 130. Where are we now? 113. That's seven full points in the in the euro. Yeah, that will be, you'll have a little extra stash for your Christmas shopping if you catch that. So pay attention. It's right there. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just identifying it. I, I'm already long I'm, because I saw it. I'm already in this trade. Stop. Uh, here's the trade, right? I'm, I'm, here's the trade I'm in. 
stops under the 65. I'm looking for that target for the one. Now, why would I, why would I get out there? Because if this plays as the one of the third, the probability for the two is that we make at least a 50% retracement. So if you get this full move, do you want to do you want to stay long and give back 50%? Well, no two traders may may answer that the same way. At the very least, this would be a place to take a partial, if not the full thing, because nothing says that we have to stop there, right? This this could just keep going. We, you know, you don't. It's not going to go straight though, right? Not not on a three day chart. We're gonna have we're gonna have some retracement. So this is a reasonable spot. You get seven full points and a move from March to December. Yeah, that's a good place to book some profit. But all you're doing is just waiting for the reload. Now you're just waiting for the retracement. Oh, oh, good. The one's in. Where am I looking for the two? Between the 50 and the 618. Right? It's just, again, I, this could be a, a one minute chart, could be a one month chart. It's always the same, always the same, always the same approach, always the same analysis the same algorithm. I'm no understand. I'm not saying this is the only algorithm in here. God knows how many different algorithms in here. This is the only one that we can identify. Well, let me rephrase that. This is the only one that I can identify that I can teach you. God knows what else is in there. But it's happening on every time frame, which is why I wanted to do this on the 3 day. One, the count is so much easier to spot. And two, just to demonstrate to you that it, whether we're looking at the one minute, one hour, four, it, it's all the same, all the same. Just easier to see it here, but it requires much more patient trading, right? You know, we get in the habit of, of checking our, checking your trade three, four, five times a day, right? You're in something, and how's it good? How are we doing? How are we far enough to go stop hit? Oh, do I need, we, we, you know, you, you got to put this on and then just, you know, the, the, the biggest problem you have is keeping your hands off of your mouse. Let it run. Yeah, I know. Much easier to say than to do. I, I Guys, I'm in here trading it every day. I, I know. I know. I speak from experience. I know how hard that is to let that run. Especially you get, you know, Jesus, you get to here. So, well, of course, there's going to be an algorithm on the other side. So let me pull, let me clear up here a little bit. All right? Remember that. You're going to have resistance here, but the resistance and any potential break of resistance is a potential tell. So you know who's in charge. So if we look here from this pivot to this low, well, this is going to be, there will, I guarantee you there's an algorithm sitting there looking for that target. So if, what if we, what if that, what if we don't get that? So let's say we don't get this, this pivot here. Okay. We come up to the golden zone. We come down, we take out this low. Okay. Was well, the count invalidated? No. The golden corner is invalidated, but I would just draw it up this way. Oh, oh it broke the low. Okay, well that didn't that didn't work out. Huh? Shit, you know, shit happens. New eighty percent. All right, as long as this pivot holds, eighty percent of making the mean line could still get up here. As an Elliott trader, still have a very just out of curiosity, still have a very valid count. So what are we done? Now we're at the seven eight six. So this becomes an A, B, C into the two. We get confluence here. Again, I, I didn't I didn't actually know that was there, but it just, I can eyeball it. I've been doing this for so long. So one, A, B, C down for the two. We get confluence of the, the, the 786 and the target, the algo target here. That's a must take. And you're like, oh shit, man, but I got stopped out here. Well, yeah, welcome to trading, right? But you don't, you don't go, oh, well, that's it. The euro is going down, 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 down reevaluate. Okay, what do I have? Do I have three pivots? Can I create another 80%? Do I have something technical here? Absolutely. Is that going to get you well from the one? Well, I'd like to think if it got up here, at the very least, your stops would break even. So, you, you know, opportunity cost. Oh, shit, that would be a place for a partial, right? So, the, I mean, now you're hitting the median line at the 618. So, there, there are places where it would make sense to, you know, put a little in your pocket. So you get through, you struggle here, starts to come down. You might, you might take a little piece of it. Knowing, right, you, your worst case is you're at a scratch here. But you're here, that's 116, gets up to 120. You know, four full points in the euro. A partial's not a bad idea. Knowing that if this, this, this starts to come down here, well, here's the key pivot. Right? We, so we have another golden within a golden. Right? We know that's the battleground. So can't get through this time, back down we go, breaks the low, new set of median lines. Is the count still valid? Can that still be a two? Do I still wanna be looking long? Nothing wrong with that. 
still the new 80% kicks in here. As long as this pivot holds, 80% probability of making the median line. Right, if we make it right there, that's just an obvious first target. Now we're into May of 21. Right, that's how long that could be. Right, you don't have the patience for this, you know, come, come down and tra trade the 60 minute. But don't forget about what's happening on the higher time frame. Very, very common. People are trading the 60 minute and they, they have absolutely no idea where you are in the longer time frame. Don't check these. It's much easier to see. You come down here to the one hour, this is going to be much, much tougher to get an accurate count. Step way back. I got a good pivot here. I got a golden zone and a golden zone. Where am I? What, where, where am I now? Well, I've just hit this golden zone. So right now, even if I don't break out of this range, I want to be on the buy side because here I've got a golden corner that's in play now. All right. Yeah, we do it 26 minutes. Well, I don't need to get off the three day. The whole thing just from the three day. Fuel for thought. All right, guys. Talk to you.